Hey, welcome or welcome back to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I'm a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today I'm going to be sharing with you three easy and stylish leggings outfit formulas for women over 50. Yes, it's very niche, very niche. You don't want to miss that. But before I do, as always, I will ask if at any point at any time you find yourself liking this video, I really appreciate it if you click the thumbs up and like the video. It does help my channel, so please and thank you. Click the subscribe button to join our community. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded, typically on Sundays. And comment down below. Say hi. It's always nice to hear from you. So let's get into it. If you are not new here, then you already know this year, one of the things that I am doing in each of my videos or attempting to do in each of my videos is to create an OOTD that is influenced by an influencer. And today our influencer is none other than Anne Marie from my over 50 fashion life. And Anne Marie is over 60 and she's from the UK. She is fabulous. So she's on Instagram and YouTube and all the places. She has some really cool playlists on YouTube, including how to not look frumpy. And there's several videos there. She is fighting frump like nobody's business, how to look chic over 50. And she just gives a lot of really good, solid content. And if you're not familiar with her, you should check her out. Of course, she'll be linked below. So Anne-Marie has kind of perfected this elevated casual look. She's all about the moto jacket. And I scrolled through her IG feed to see, look back to see what was Anne-Marie wearing last spring. And then I came across this one look and it just spoke to me. So here let's discuss the components so here she is wearing this print button up top a light colored blazer dark cropped pants and some bright bold shoes those are that's the essence of the look so perhaps needless to say i do not own any of the specific things that she is wearing but i can try and recreate the look based on replicating those individual components, a light blazer, a print top, dark crop pants, bold shoes. All right, let's go. So first of all, I'm going to replace the button up shirt with the shirt you see before you now. It is not the same small repeated print that she is wearing, but it is, um, a print top. It is not button up. It is a tank. This is something I thrifted for maybe about $5, but it's a very good quality and it's lightweight, but not overly sheer and it's very comfortable and I love it. All the blues and greens. It's just giving me that, I don't know, spring summer look. So this is my top that I will be using. I also have a pair of black crop pants. I have a tan Evan Pacone blazer, which I thrifted. I also thrifted the pants. They are from a French brand called Maj, which I got new with the tags on eBay, and a pair of JCPenney green slingback shoes. So let's go. Let me show you the look. So as you can see, the crop pants, the slingbacks, um, not blue, but they are that bold, colorful shoe. Hers are flats, and obviously mine has a little heel, just a little, not too much. And that is my first attempt at recreating the look inspired by Anne Marie. However, I don't know what the weather is like over in the UK, but here in the great state of Ohio, it is cold. It's in the 30s. We're seeing some flurries. Spring has not sprung yet, so let me show you what I actually wore to work, my in real life OOTD. So I wore the tank, the blazer, 
and I replaced the crop pants with these navy blue and tailor pants which I thrifted from Goodwill for five bucks not long ago but I love them I love the wide leg cut and I wore them with these peanut butter colored slingbacks from JC Penney instead of having a bold color shoe I had a bold color bag mine is from Amazon and I wore this coat which is pretty much the same color as the blazer so even when I was outside I still had the look so that is what I wore to work today and it was all inspired by Anne Marie's spring look so if you look at a side by side obviously the outfits really don't look that much alike but they have the exact same components print top light color blazer dark color pants bold shoe in my case a bold bag but moving on I decided to try some variations what if I did have colorful shoes I do not have shoes that color that Anne Marie has but I do have these light um, Robin's egg turquoisey kind of blue heels so I have those I have the aforementioned green slingbacks and these are satin and I got these from JC Penney a while ago and then I also have these which are these yellow um, heels and they kind of have that uh, I don't know ombre-ish kind of a thing going on and just as a point of reference I will show you I have these heels from JCPenney so these are the shoes so let me show you the variations of the shoes with the blue the yellow and the green slingbacks okay and then changing out some of the blazers so still a light colored blazer but instead of having the tan blazer what if I had this yellow blazer which I thrifted some time ago and here I'm wearing it with the blue heels so that is one interpretation and then here I have this green jacket it is by a brand called ink INC that I thrifted in New Jersey some time ago so that is um, another look and then if the weather was in fact warmer I might disperse with the pants all together and change it out for a skirt this is my navy blue skirt that I got from a brand called Style We and yes it's one of those fast fashiony ones but this was actually a decent quality and I'm pleased with the purchase so that is the different um, variations on the theme here and also with the skirt I'm wearing navy blue kitten hill slingbacks that I got from Amazon so thank you Anne Marie for being so fabulous and inspiring us all and again I will link her information in the description box you need to check her out let's move on so today's topic is wearing leggings over 50 so here's the thing style is about making choices what do you want to emphasize and what if anything do you want to downplay so once you've established that when you are over 50 it is normal it is natural it is age appropriate for your body to go through various changes and the question is do you want to wear clothes that shine a spotlight on the aging parts of your body or not so much now here this is not about body shaming it's not about age shaming it's just about making choices of what do you want to emphasize what if anything do you want to downplay having said that first and foremost if you want to look stylish and modern you need to buy good quality leggings I'll say it again good quality leggings I am defining good quality leggings as leggings when you hold them up in front of a window and put your hand inside you can't see your hand you don't see light passing through and when you're wearing them you don't see your skin that's really important that they have 
enough, um, I think the word is opacity op to, uh, they're, they're opaque enough that you can't see through them, basically is what I'm saying. And it's also important that you get your size, not too big where they're baggy and saggy, but not so tight that you're getting a lot of wrinkling and, um, lines and things because they're just pulling too tight so you want good quality leggings so that we're not showing off all of the texture of our skin and camel toes and all of that stuff that we can kind of keep that under wraps and this is probably good advice for women of any age but certainly women over 50 see yourself as worthy and sometimes you're going to get what you pay for and if you go to discount stores and find some $9.99 leggings, they're not going to really be doing all the things that you probably want them to do. And depending on how often you wear leggings, it is certainly worth the investment. And they're also great, even if you're just wearing them underneath things that won't be seen, just as an extra layer of warmth. So... This is something that it's worth splurging to do a little bit more. My leggings are kind of old. I think I got them from Amazon some time ago. I will try to find some good quality ones and link them down below. So moving on. Um, and listen, I know the leggings stretch, but get the right size get the right size. So once you have your properly fitting, good quality leggings, let's get into leggings outfit formula number one. Leggings, a tunic, and ankle boots. So let me make a word of caution about tunics. Tunics can look frumpy on women of any age, but particularly women over 50. So in general, when you're wearing a tunic, you want to kind of give it a half tuck or a side tuck or some kind of a tuck just to give it some shape and it makes it just look a little cooler, a little more modern. And if you're not accustomed to doing that, just play with it until you just have to get used to seeing yourself looking modern and not frumpy. You don't have to do too much, just a little bit. Or for that matter, if you feel more comfortable, you can tuck it in all the way around. But with leggings that might get a little bulky. So here we go. Here I have this tunic, which I thrifted some time ago, like I do, and it has a slight front tuck to give it a little shape, but it still offers a lot of coverage. I'm wearing it with these old leggings, JCPenney ankle boots, and a thrifted express bag, and that is leggings outfit formula number one. I might even add a low heel just to dress it up a little bit, or even some like metallic sandals if it was warmer weather and I want it to be a little fancier, but that is the first outfit formula. So outfit formula number two is I'm keeping those same leggings. I'm going to have the leggings, a t-shirt, and an oversized blazer. So I styled my oversized blazer, which is a thrifted men's blazer, um, with a baseball hat, this casual bag, some Fila sneakers, and a pair of sunnies. And let me say, I am not a sneaker head. I am not anybody who's out here paying hundreds of dollars for sneakers. Just not doing it, but you do you. And I really like buying men's suiting pieces and blazers because they are almost always of superior quality and construction than what you will find in the woman's department. And in this case, it's still giving um, a nice juxtaposition of the boxiness on top and the super fittedness of, is that a word, fittedness of the leggings. So that is leggings outfit formula number two. And then finally, leggings outfit formula number three, which consists of leggings, a fitted t-shirt, and a sheer shacket or sheer dress layered on top of it. So I really like this because it's a good way to wear sheer clothing, especially as a woman over 50. So first I'm gonna do it in a casual way with a sheer plaid jacket and some sneakers. 
something I might just wear to run errands or even just hanging out around the house, doing something casual. And then secondly, I'm dressing it up because I have a dressier sheer oversized shirt that I thrifted uh, last summer when I was in Philly and some more elegant earrings and I'm super comfortable. I've got my black leggings. I can move. I can groove. I've got a t-shirt on a nice soft black cotton smooth t-shirt and all I did was throw on some nicer shoes and um, this sheer jacket and some fancy earrings and I'm good to go. And let me show you those shoes. These again are a kitten hill. I got these. This is a brand called Wildfire. I got these earlier this year and um, I just particularly liked the buckle and I thought that was cool. So that is a dressier version of leggings outfit formula number three. So if you're not sold on leggings, you might want to ease into it. A good transitional way is to try slim leg pants. Now, depending on your body, um, particularly like if you have wider thighs, no shame in the game, nothing wrong with it, but your pants will kind of t what I call touch and go. So they might fit a little more fitted in some places and then a little looser in your calf or some other places, but it's not quite as fitted as a pair of leggings. So I will show you the same outfit formulas with the slim leg pants instead of the leggings. So here we go with the tunic and I'm going to show you just side by side so you can kind of see the difference. It gives you a little more, or it's giving me anyway, a little more. It's a looser fit and um, obviously it's a looser fit. So there's me with the tunic here, the oversized blazer. Okay. And then finally layered with the sheer shirts and the casual version and the dressy version. So that is pretty much the video. So I will link Anne Marie's info in the description box, as I said. So be sure to check out her information. Um, and also comment down below. How do you like wearing leggings? Do you, particularly if you're over 50, do you wear leggings? Um, are you about that leggings life? Sound off down below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, until we meet again, I hope your day is blessed and stylish.